Hey, what is going on guys, Z here. Now in this video, I wanna show you guys something really cool. It's a new feature in Skype, which automatically translates your audio. So if you're in a call with somebody from a different country and you don't really understand their language, you can use an automatic translator. And the cool thing about this is that it's no longer limited to when you're making a Skype to Skype call. So if you had Skype, you can now call any landline, any mobile phone, and you can turn this translator on obviously beforehand. Now there is a little bit of a delay when you are using it, so I'm just going to show you guys quickly uh, a call from there and then I'm going to show you guys how to activate it. So I'm going to call myself from a different computer right now and I'm going to show you guys. That is so cool. That's so cool. You are that cool. You are cool. Ich bin aus Canada. I'm from Canada. Ich habe einen YouTube Kanal. I have a YouTube channel. Is this das wirkliche Leben oder ist dies nur Fantasie gefangen in einem Erdrutsch? Keine Flucht aus der Realität. Is this real life and there is only fantasy trapped in a landslide? No escape from reality. Öffnen Sie Ihre Augen, schauen bis zu den Himmel und sehen. Ich bin nur ein Armeid. Open your eyes, look up to the heavens and see. I'm just a poor kid. I need your sympathy. So what you guys just heard there was Skype translating the German into English on my side. Now it's definitely not perfect and it doesn't understand certain terminology. Now there is also a little bit of a delay because it is real time and it does need to record the speech and then translate it using the Skype's translator. But that is definitely a cool feature. You guys should for sure check that out. And I'm going to show you guys right now how to actually enable it within Skype. All right, so the way to set this up would basically be to go into your contacts and click on the contact that you're, you wish to speak to or that you're going to be speaking to. And you're going to see a, a globe icon right there on the top there, right under the phone icon. So you're going to go ahead and click on that and you're going to toggle this on. So right now it's, it's going to be off. I'm going to toggle that on. And now what you're basically going to do is you're going to select the language that the person speaks. So if the person speaks German, then you go ahead and, and click on German or French, English, wh whichever one. If it's German, go ahead and click German. And then you, you choose the language that you're going to be speaking. So that is going to be English. So you choose English for yourself. And then for the other person, you choose the language that they're going to be speaking. And now basically the person on the other side does the exact same thing. If they want to translate, if they want translation into their, into their computer. So that is pretty much how you do it. So again, the person that you're going to be receiving the language from, you're going to be receiving their voice from when you're in a call with them or a video call, you're going to select their language that they speak. And then the, you're going to be basically translating that into this language right here, which is under me. This is me right here and this is them. So I'm going to click on English because that is my spoken language and if they were speaking German then you would click on German and or French or whatever. Now again this supports up to 10 languages so you have Arabic, Chinese simplified, Chinese traditional, English, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, Russian and Spanish. So you have 10 languages and this is just for text. You have a bunch of text languages that this, that this uh, can automatically translate and that is right here. This is under the text. So if you did want to just do the text under the, the more supported languages, you can do that. But an audio call, which is on the top, see, this is just the messaging. But if you scroll up towards the top, you have the call and the, te and the text messaging, which only does support up to 10 languages. So that is pretty much how you guys do it. Uh, that is going to be it for this video. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.